This video shows how to install and use this new Agent CPM GUI for autonomously executing tasks on your smartphone using screenshots, all local, all free. Imagine your phone performing actions just by understanding what's on its screen. Stick around to see how. I am Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Agent CPM GUI is an open source large language model agent designed for on device operations. This has been developed through a collaboration between Than LP Renmin University of China and Model Best. It is built upon the mini CPM V model which we already have covered in detail on the channel some time back. This model comes with 8 billion of parameters and it is engineered to accept smartphone screenshots as its primary input, enabling it to understand and autonomously carry out user specified tasks directly on the device. The model architecture is quite interesting. It uses several key capabilities. I'm just going to go through them very, very quickly and then we will get it installed and play around with it. It features high quality GUI grounding achieved through pre-training on an existing and extensive bilingual Android dataset, which enhances its ability to localize and comprehend common graphical user interface elements like buttons, input boxes and icons. This is also notably tuned for Chinese application mainly but also supports English quite decently. It also supports operation across 30 popular apps. Its planning and reasoning abilities are improved via reinforcement fine tuning or RFT that allows the model to process information before an action. So let's get started and we are going to get it installed. I'm using this Ubuntu system and I have this GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I'm as usual starting by creating this virtual environment with Konda. And now then let's git clone the repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description. And now let's install all the requirements from the root of the repo. This is going to take few minutes. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGentPot. iGentPot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will also drop their link in video's description. And by the way, this model is also available on Hugging Face for free if you are interested. And one more thing I forgot to tell is that it also uses a compact action space design with a concise JSON format. So that reduces the average action length to approximately 9.7 tokens. So which means that it is very, very optimized for on device usage as it improves the inference efficiency, which I believe is very much needed. Shouldn't take too long now. All the prerequisites are done. Now let's log into the Hugging Face with Hugging Face CLI and you would need the free read token from Hugging Face. Let me paste my read token and if you're following along, you can download it from your profile in Hugging Face. Okay, next up, we need to download the model and I'm just going to download it with Hugging Face CLI and I am putting it in this model directory, which is in the repo. And the model is being downloaded, so let's wait. And the model is now downloaded. You can also check it out in the repo by just doing this ls on this model directory and all the files are here. So let me now take you to the code and then we will do the inference. So I'm just going to first show you the code. So this is a code which I'm going to use in order to do the inference on it. And this is by the way available on their Hugging Face card. Uh, it is available in Chinese. So I've just translated it into English because it is bilingual. So what is happening here is I'm just giving it this local image of a mobile phone a screenshot. And then I'm asking it to click the member button on the screen here. We are specifying the path of the model. Then we are resizing the image so that it will be easier for the model 
and then model is doing its thing here this is a system prompt where we are telling that what sort of tasks model needs to perform and then there are rules that the output must be in the compact json format and it must comply with the schema constraint and the model is then going to give us the output so that is um, it so let's run this i'm just going to run this uh, script from my python so i'm just going to run it from app.py and it was fairly quick as you see that it has loaded the model onto our gpu and then it was it has given us a json format of the coordinates of that member button on the screen and this is how you can operate um, your whole screen with the help of this model how good is that we also have seen a lot of other models but i think the difference between this model and previous this on screen or on device uh, model is that this one is quite fast let me run it again and you will see how quick that is so once it loads a model it is just lightning fast you see and if you check the vram consumption it just consume 5.6 gig of vram it is nothing really it's already done beautiful stuff and as I mentioned it's a bilingual one so not only english but you can also run it in chinese so you see i have replaced the instructions system prompt and stuff with this chinese which uh, which is saying the same thing i just used their original script and then if you go here and run it is going to again load the model and i will let it run it's a very lightweight portal as you already saw and then within a few seconds it is going to give us the result there you go so it's the same coordinates on the screen which it has shown here and if you're looking to build some application um, out of this model the good thing is that this model also supports action space so what it means is that what i just showed you in one simple python script that is sort of a one step you can have multiple steps orchestrated together so in at each step the agent output a single json object which we just saw and then you can pass it on to the next one and then to the next one you can create a chain and create the whole slew of application doing different things on the screen you can even specify some optional modifiers like duration and it also supports sort of reasoning so you can enable the thought tag you just have to say thought and in the prompt and that's about it you can also set some other actions like click long press swipe uh, type text wait and then even some of the task level level statuses and all that information is available on their um, github repo which you can check out so pretty nifty sorry so pretty nifty i would say model i'm very impressed by it i think not only th this is quite um, low latency one but also quite a performant one so that's it as i said i already have covered a lot of models from the same open bmb like mini cpm and other agents like this dot agent was quite good uh came around one year ago and a lot of other stuff which i have covered so check the channel out i'm sure you will find something of your liking if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching